What's up, guys? I'm here at Walmart Supercenter. About to show you guys how to get big on a budget. A lot of people have been sending me messages. How can I get big? They want to get big, but they say it's too expensive. Carbs are cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap to get big. It's expensive to get cut. Show you how to get big on a budget. Walmart, let's get it. What's up, guys? This is Big Jewel 5% Nutrition. About to go on my grocery one. You guys saw my last one, how to get shredded. Now it's gonna be how to get big. So you guys trying to bodybuild on a budget, you wanna get big, it's gonna be cheap shit, it's gonna get you real big. But first, Mr. McDonald's, carbon up. Worst thing you can do is you can go grocery shop is be hungry. Two Big Macs, large fry, large Coke. That's my pre-grocery shopping meal. Let's get it. First thing I'm getting, some greens. You guys know I hate vegetables, absolutely hate them. But when you're eating a lot of food, you gotta make sure it's digesting properly. Uh, so when you take digestive enzymes, that helps you digest your food. So again, I drink two green smoothies a day. I don't, I don't like the taste of it, I hate them. But that's just so I can help digest my food better. It's a lot better for your gut health. So I use these two times a day. All right, next up, this is, this is, this is all the beef. I'm not really that big of a chicken or fish eater. Um, especially if you're trying to gain weight, guys, you need red meat. Do not be afraid of red meat. Now, again, if I'm dieting, I'll eat the cleaner stuff up here. But again, it's off season. We're bodybuilding on the budget. So the best thing you guys could do is get the 80-20. 80-20 is gonna have a little bit more fat in it, but it's also gonna be, it tastes a little better because it's not so dry. And if you're not pre-contest, just eat whatever, eat whatever beef you can. Another thing too is people are always afraid to get beef it's 75 or 80% lean. All you have to do is cook it, drain the grease as you're cooking it, or even keep a strainer in the sink. When you're cooking your beef, throw it in the strainer, drain it out, put it back. So that way it'll bring 80%, it'll bring it up to like 90 as long as you drain it out enough. It's a lot cheaper this way too. Next up, ground turkey. Again, I eat a lot of my stuff ground. It doesn't matter in terms of what it's doing for your body, the macros, if it's ground or not, but when you're eating a lot of food, it's easier to get ground beef, ground turkey, or even grind your chicken because it's gonna be easier to get it down. You mush it up with the rice or with the sweet potatoes, it's a lot easier to eat it than to just be chewing, chewing meat all day long. And again, with the turkey, I like Jenny O the best. I mean, it's real cheap. This whole thing right here is like 10 bucks. And I mean, depending on how much, depending, this is three pounds. So I do about 10 ounces. So this is almost five meals for me, it's only 10 bucks. But if you guys do six ounces, you're getting like seven, eight meals out of this thing. And again, this is like 10 bucks for the whole day worth of meat. All right, guys, under my carbs. Again, carbs are cheap, real, real cheap. Rice is cheap, pasta is cheap, potatoes are cheap. All that stuff's real, real cheap. So again, rice, rice is rice. Whether you want brown, parboiled, white, it's all about the flavor and texture for me. I like parboil because it's easier, it's, it's, it's softer, it's not as hard. So um, again, I'll just grab grab whatever one's the cheapest. We're not concerned with the quality. We're just trying to fucking get big. So we want the cheapest one. This one right here. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. 20 pounds for like $16. This will feed, this will last a while. Bodybuilding on a budget, let's get it. Another one of my carb sources will be pasta. I do either pasta, rice, or I'll even do potatoes. Pasta is pasta, it's all about the flavor and the texture. I mean, it all it's all tastes the same, it's just about a matter of, so I, what I'm gonna use is, I like rotini, three boxes of this, only three dollars. And again, this box right here is only a dollar. And depending on how much you eat, you could probably get at least three big, big, maybe even four big, big meals out of one box. I add that with the ground beef, and it's a quick, cheap meal. Now, if you want to switch it up and get the gluten-free, that's fine, but it's going to cost a little bit more. If you can afford the gluten-free, get the gluten-free. But again, I don't really know the difference. And it's the off-season, we're just trying to get big, so we're trying to do it the cheapest way possible. Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce is all about the flavor. So if you look down here, these cans down here in the very bottom, the cheapest ones, it's only a dollar. So it just depends which ones you like. I like the cheese. So I'm going to get two cheese. And again, so, so far, this one dollar this one dollar so this is two dollars right here you're filling up a whole pot full of pasta add the ground beef in there you're good for the whole day what i used to do back in the day is i would put two cans two cans of sauce with one and a half of these cook a big thing of ground beef and just eat it make a big huge pot all day 
And what I would do is as I get hungry, I just go to the pot and just scoop it up that all day long. It's easy to swallow too. Pasta is a lot easier to swallow than ground beef. If you guys got sensitive teeth or you know the rice is getting hard or whatever, you can make a huge bowl of pasta. I mean, it literally just goes straight down into you. Uh, it's real quick, real easy, and real cheap. My last carb source is gonna be oatmeal. I'm a huge oatmeal eater. I blend it, I eat it, it's quick, it's easy to digest. The difference with the oatmeal, all oatmeal is pretty much the same substance, quick oats and old-fashioned oats. The only difference with that is gonna be the texture of the oat. If you guys use your oatmeal and protein shakes, if you're blending it, go up the quick oats. It's gonna be thinner, easier to blend. I blend my oats, and again, I mean, this is $2.50. And you're getting bowls and bowls of oatmeal after one, after one of these bottles. So get two of those. Again, quick oats if it's in the blender, old fashioned oats if it's not in the blender. Now for my snacks, I like to go with Pop-Tarts. If I need carbs before the gym or even right after the gym, I have some, uh, some Pop-Tarts. One Pop-Tart, I think 70 grams. Yeah, about 70 grams for one pack. So two of these post-workouts give me 140 grams of carbs. And again, I don't need this fancy brand name shit I'm going with the generic kind for a dollar. So for two dollars, one, two, I get 12 packs of Pop-Tarts, 12 packs. That's plenty of carbs and plenty of sugar. Good source of protein. I'll do whole eggs, ground beef, and rice for one of my meals. Or sometimes I'll just do eggs and rice. Again, it's easy to swallow, easy to get down. If you guys are eating a, a large amount of food, you have to eat food that's easy to, to swallow, like actually easy to eat and swallow. You don't want to be eating chewy steak and hard rice and dry chicken breast all day long. You're going to get discouraged. Your teeth are going to hurt. Your gums are going to hurt. Just get stuff that's mushed. You can mush it up and swallow it down. Or use ketchup. Use coconut oil. Use some type of fats. Or even real butter. Not, I'll get into that later, but real butter. Put some butter in there too. Mix it up. It's real easy to swallow and get down. Last thing you want to be doing is chewing on something dry, trying to swallow when it takes you 20, 30 minutes to get it down. Whatever it takes to get it in you. Egg whites, you know I love my egg whites. Um, you guys look at the difference. You see all these different kinds of eggs, egg whites, you don't know what it is. I don't do egg beaters, that's basically like fake eggs. I don't do egg beaters. Um, I get pretty much the cheapest egg whites you can get. These are all, these are the same thing, but just the generic and the regular one, same thing. The short cartons is already pre-measured two cups. So you guys trying to get 50 grams of protein. If you don't want to measure, just get one of these, dump this in. This is 50 grams of protein. Uh, this is 10 egg whites in a short cart. Tall one is just double the dose, but it's just you have to split it up. I'm gonna go the cheap way, and I'm gonna go the best way. These are cage-free egg whites, free-range chickens. Uh, if you, have, you guys ever see cage-free, you wonder what cage-free is. A lot of times these farms, they'll just pack chickens into a large coop. The chickens are pooping on each other. They're um, eating dead chickens. It's like it's like a horn. It's just a disease-infested chicken coop when they're caged. So I get the cage-free egg whites. This right here is gonna make me two shakes, real shakes. So I'm gonna get three of these. This'll be, th this'll be six shakes for me. So this will get me through one shake in the morning, every morning. And when I say shake, I'll make real shakes. Two cups oatmeal, two cups egg whites, cinnamon, honey, and splint. It's gonna taste like cinnamon toast crunch. Blend it up, oh, it's so good. Now, if you, I don't eat shelled eggs, that's disgusting. But the liquid egg whites doesn't really have a, doesn't really have a taste. It tastes almost like skim milk. Fruity pebbles. Gotta love them. Extra calories. This is like a snack for me. I don't really consider this part of my food. But again, more is better when you're trying to get big. Don't be afraid to eat. Now, fruity pebbles. Everybody knows I hate milk. Now, this is the trick. I use my egg whites for my liquid, like as my milk when I'm eating the Fruity Pebbles. What this does is it gives me protein and it also gives me my flavor with here with my carbs. So again, I dump this in the bowl, like I dump it in the bowl like I'm having cereal and I put this on top of it just like the milk and I mix it in and it actually tastes like skim milk. This does not taste like eggs, guys, in the, in the carton. If you take eggs out of a shell, that's disgusting. It's slimy, it's gross. In a carton, it's like skim milk. So if you guys wanna get your protein in, a lot of times late night people have cereal they want a snack or whatever, have cereal. There's no nutritional value to that. It's just for the flavor. Why not get your protein in there too? Two cups of this will give you 50 grams. So use this as your milk for your cereal. Believe me, it's not as bad as it sounds. Jif with the brown top. 
you guys need a quick snack before the gym, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I mean, keep it basic. Peanut butter and jelly is good because you can pretty much make it anywhere. You can bring it to work with you. You can make a sandwich in the car. You can go on the road. You can be in the hotel. If you guys travel, you have no, no, um, no microwave or no kitchen at your hotel, get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I mean, you can eat those all weekend long. So um, I get I get this peanut butter, which is a low sodium all natural. And again, with my jelly, with my jelly, it's the same thing. Same thing, low sodium all natural with the jelly as well. Quick store one is done. Got all this stuff in here. I got eggs, I got beef, I got turkey, I got egg whites, rice, oatmeal, peanut butter and jelly, spinach, fruity pebbles, peanut butter, I got the whole nine. Got everything in this cart was only $123. So if you guys say you can't get big or cost too much, this is $123 worth of food. This, this should last you guys about a week. Stay away from organic. Stay away from the high uh, gluten-free stuff. That's gonna cost more. Just get whatever it takes, get the bare minimum, eat quality foods, couple cheat meals here and there, hit your calories, and always look at the back of a Nutrition Facts label. Look at the back of the labels. Like for instance, when I look at this, look at your calories. This is 110 calories. If you guys are shooting for a 5,000 calorie day, or you want a 10,000 calorie day, just track your calories. Do that every day. If you want a 5,000 calorie day, do that every day for 20 days. See how your weight goes up. So a lot of guys have one or two days where they eat good and they fall off. Be consistent with this shit and get big. Gotta eat big, get big. So let's get it. Time to go home, cook this shit up, go to the gym, pop in, let's get it.